Okay, um, the cooling block for the water cooler comes as default with these connections here, which are actual, actually for Intel processors. Um, so, first of all, it requires you to unscrew these and then replace them with some MD ones. Off. And the new one slide on. Okay, that's a bit of a tight fit. of screwing them back on again. I don't think you need to put the washers on. So on the sixth time of trying, uh, we even tried mounting the fan on the outside of the case. Um, before resorting to moving the top fan as the radiator was too tall and hit um, the top LED fan. Uh, the only problem with mounting it on the outside um, was that the uh, mesh covering over the fan uh, actually built onto the case, that sticks out, it sort of protrudes on the back, uh, which didn't allow us to get the screws in. So having moved the fan, which is incredibly tricky on this case. You have to pull off the front, then you have to pull off the top, but the top is held down by all the uh, front panel wires, so you can only lift up at the back, which is fine for unscrewing um, the fan when it's in the rear position, but when you're trying to screw it back in at the front, you can't fit a screwdriver in to um, screw the fan in, so that was uh, tricky and we couldn't actually get the fan fully tightened up but it doesn't rattle or anything so we've just left it as it is um, and Corsair provide these little washers which are supposed to go between the fan and the radiator and I don't know how you're supposed to uh, properly fit this because we had two people doing this and every single time without fail, uh, as soon as you've got all the washers on, you go to put the radiator on and the whole lot just falls down. Um, the first time I did it, I didn't have anything covering the uh, power supply and all the washers just dropped through the grill on the top of the power supply. So I had to take the power supply out to get those out. Um, so in the end, we just gave up on the washers and just screwed it straight through the fan into um, the radiator and that worked fine. So back to uh, what's actually happening. Um, the way that the AMD um, CPU coolers actually uh, are fitted is there's a tab at the top and a tab at the bottom, just above and below the CPU socket made from plastic. And as you could see, there are these two 
little hooks which you screw into the top and the bottom of the uh, cooler and you have to try hook those over which is quite tricky there's not much room to hook them over um, so as you can see it did take me quite a while to get those in place um, but once you have got them you just need to tighten them at the same time you don't want to tighten the top completely and then tighten the bottom um, because that will uh, apply uneven pressure and uneven cooling uh, so you tighten the top a little and you tighten the bottom a little um, so that pretty much um, concludes how you fit the uh, H60 all that's left to do now is um, plug in the three pin connectors there's one on the actual block itself and then one on the fan uh, by the radiator so just um, I plugged the one on the block into the main CPU cooler uh, header on my motherboard and I plugged the other one just into an available um, 3 pin peripheral connector so uh, thank you for checking out this video be sure to stay tuned for the rest of this series uh, it looks like there's going to be another 3 or 4 videos to come um, I might still make some further tweaks as well so watch out for those uh, please like, comment and subscribe. Thanks. Don't forget to check back this time next week for my next video in the series uh, in which I'll be installing the SSD, the uh, graphics card as well as the DVD reader. Thanks.